Well, welcome back to Great Day Washington. March is Brain Injury Awareness Month, and nationwide, more than 5 million people are living with brain injuries in the U.S. All right, here to tell us more are Emmy, a win, um, Emmy, Emmy Award winning television personality, Montel Williams, along with Dr. Michael Yokelson, who is the medical director at MedStar National Rehabilitation Hospital. Welcome, gentlemen. Thanks for coming Welcome. in. Thanks so Thanks much for having us. Good. Yeah, All right. You. Well, when did this awareness start? I remember in the 70s, we didn't wear helmets when we, you know, rode our bikes. We didn't wear safety belts. Well, when did this all start? It really began to uh, increase awareness in the early 2000s because of the uh, military. So as we were seeing service members coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan, recognizing mild brain injury from blast injury, that's when the awareness more globally began to occur. But we paid attention for the military, and we also paid attention when it comes to football and athletics, but we don't pay attention to civilians. And, you know, right now we have about 300,000 soldiers who are walking around with a traumatic brain injury. We probably have about, you know, 50,000, no, maybe 100,000 former NFL players walking around with a traumatic brain injury. But we have almost 5 million civilians in this country today with a traumatic brain injury or concussive brain injury. Every single day, 138 people walk into an emergency room. And this is people over the age of 60, under the age of four, people in the middle. And we all have to be aware of the fact that, you know, that whack, I was talking to somebody earlier today. You know, when you're in the kitchen and you're under the counter and your wife calls you, you go bang, you hit your head, and it's like you get up and for two seconds you feel like there's lights and oh my, oh, ouch. And then what do we do? We suck it up and go on. Well, that's wrong. Because if later on that day you got another headache and you, you better go see a doctor, but most of us don't. That's exactly right. And that's why we're trying to make sure people understand we need to start solving this. What is it? 30% of all deaths in this country have traumatic or concussive brain injury as a component mm. every day. Oh. This is amazing. Now, Montel, you're, yes. you're a former military man, mm -hmm. graduate of the U.S. Naval yes, Academy. So, but also have MS. You also and what have people MS. People don't understand is right, my brain right. is riddled with these little scars. MS means multiple sclerosis. Sclerosis in Latin is scars. If you saw an MRI of my brain and an MRI of a guy who's had concussive injuries from blast, you know, over and over again, there's demyelinization and things that almost look a little bit like the same. So I'm praying and hoping that the research that's done here will help other diseases that are similar with brain like damage. Like MS, but Correct. you say at 60 years old, you're in the best shape of your life. I see you snowboarding on your Instagram page. Is it as a result of e experimental trials like this one? I can say to you that I have been blessed and fortunate to be able to be involved in technology that is experimental. And unfortunately, until we use guys like this guy right here and centers like this hospital right here in Washington, D.C., to validate all the you know, single little anecdotes like me, then it's of no use. I need him to do the science. That's why we need people at home to go up on that braininjurytrial.com today. You got a mother, father, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, cousin, you know, uh, uh, little Billy, who your, your nephew who fell off the swing last week, and everybody's going, you know, he just hasn't been acting right. No, he's not acting right because he's got a concussive brain injury. Take him to the doctor, but also call us because if we get these trials done, recruit more people, you don't know how many lives we can save, how many lives we can make so much better. How do we know, Doctor? Montel's sharp, he's witty, he's got it going on, he's, he's athletic. You wouldn't think, oh, he's, let's check his brain. No one would ever say that. How do we know? So when we're talking about concussion in particular, it's really largely symptom-based because if you look at a CT or an MRI, it's going to be normal. So you have to recognize the symptoms of concussion. And as Montel said, if you feel dazed, if you're confused, have headaches, dizziness, trouble sleeping, feeling depressed, all of those, if you've had a head injury or if you've banged your head, uh, may be a sign that you've had a concussion and you really need to get it checked out. But mood swings, this. mood swings, all those kinds of things, you really need to go and check. We don't, you know, again, this is not rocket science. It was wet last week. Somebody walked out their front door here in D.C., slipped, hit the head on the car, ouch, got up off the ground. The wife said, you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Now Thursday, two days later, got a headache, just won't go away. Three days later, wife says, you want a cup of coffee? What? All of a sudden got an attitude. And this goes on for months. Six, seven months later, you're still wondering, why am I acting this way? I have a very close friend of mine, a businessman, who is just phenomenal. If you knew the business he runs, he runs a business every day. I can't understand how he keeps it up. He says to me three days ago, my time telling you something, two years ago I fell down in our living room and I've just never been right. Can you help me get in this trial? And I said, what do you mean you've been right? He laid out almost every single symptom. Guy's 60-something years old. 
But if he had volunteered for a trial two years ago, we could have helped him by now. Mm. So the whole key is, again, volunteer you know, for a trial. we need people to step up to the plate. It's through clinical trials, real science, that we validate things like people like me who are making claims. Listen to me. I've been doing some very specialized experimental things to combat my MS, to keep myself sharp. I'm 60 years old. I think I'm doing pretty good. But the only reason why I can even talk about it is because I got guys like him trying to make sure that we can do this and for And tools everybody. like this. Can you hold this up, Dr. Yes. Yolkelson? That, that's something people would use. If so they... this is what we're using in the clinical trial. So the, the uh, patients would wear this behind the neck, and then this goes in their mouth. It stimulates the tongue. The nerve impulses then transmit to the brain, which increases neuroplasticity which is the ability of good parts of the brain to take over where there are injured parts. You do that along <laughs> with the therapy, along with physical therapy or your own exercise program, and this helps to augment the results of the therapy. And Mondell is so excited because something be on the like that, about it. Yeah. <laughs> it can help people with TBI and possibly MS. It can help people, but we're also hoping that again, you know, we, we find out when you find one drug that works for maybe one modality, then we're really excited when it works for multiple. This has the potential to work with anything that happens up inside of this gourd because what it's doing is it's sending 24 million pulses into the two cranial nerves into your tongue into the brain and it's telling the brain that there's something going on here and I want you to pay attention to. Now for some reason it seems to work to help to reduce some symptoms but until we get this trial done and this trial going on right now third phase. We need help. This could be something that could be approved in the next eight months, if hopefully by the FDA, and more people could get help. We just need people to come on. Good. Come Dr. Wow. Montel Williams. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks want, for talking with us you know, today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I want to come back, okay? Yeah, come, come back, on, please. Right, bring some blenders. If you want more information about the clinical trial over at MedStar National Rehabilitation Hospital, go to www.braininjurytrial.com Dot com, or you can call 202-877-1875. All right, coming.